Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this video, let me talk about RO water purifiers. I know this is off topic, but this is an important subject uh, because uh, lately I have seen that in our family also, many of our cousins and relatives have been buying RO purifiers. It's just the fact that they don't know what they are getting into it. And now just recently, the government of India is also sort of banning RO uh, purifiers, especially in big cities where the TDS water levels are uh, not above 500. So what is this? Let's talk about it. I have done a lot of research on it. I have reports from WHO and a lot of other sources. So let's talk about this. What is going on? So now let's talk about it and as you can see from the screenshot, uh, the ban is happening, it's happening in some of the cities, for example, Delhi and other cities that started and you can read even this one, it says ban RO systems of dissolved solids are less than 500 milligrams per liter by NGT. So what is this whole thing about? Uh, according to this, uh, uh, government of India is actually uh, uh, the saying that ban RO if uh, the water levels, TDS uh, levels are uh, above, uh, what do you say, less than 500, uh, not to sell R, uh, what do you say, RO water purifiers. What is that is reverse osmosis. So what is this? Essentially, it is TDS. And you might be scared. What is this TDS? TDS is nothing but total dissolved solids. And how do you check it? It's very, very easy. Don't get alarmed. As you can see, this is a TDS meter. And there's a very simple gadget, not expensive at all. I, I don't recall last year I had purchased this from Amazon. It was about 250 rupees. I'll leave the link. So you can test it. I'll also in the later part of the video, uh, show you the TDS what I am actually getting with municipal water and what water we have in the system society and stuff. I'll show you all that. But first, let's talk about this one. And uh, this is about TDS. As you can see from this uh, screenshot, it says that uh, RO water purifier salesmen boil down to one factor that is TDS or total dissolved solids. Uh, and uh, RO is actually very, very effective in uh, to lower the TDS value. That is what RO systems does. But the thing with the RO systems is that, in, yes, it filters all that uh, and lowers the TDS value. For example, if you have a very high TDS value of 500, 600, it can lower it down to about 25. Uh, but the thing is that it not only filters that, but it filters the good the minerals that we have in our water, which is actually required, for example, if I recall, magnesium, calcium, and other things. So that is the big problem with RO. It not only like filters everything out, but even the necessary minerals that we require. For example, if you talk even about bottled water, it's called as mineral water, not distilled water. Distilled water is what we put in our batteries and stuff. You don't drink that water. So you don't require that level of water. It is actually harmful for example if i uh, move to this screenshot uh, this is by uh, who and bureau of indian standards about how much should be the tds levels of water so i'm just going to read what it says it says water with tds level uh, less than 300 mg per liter was deemed as excellent by wh panel of water testers in a report prepared so they are telling that uh, a tds level of below 300 is uh, excellent but again that doesn't mean it should go very very low also that's the misconception that we as Indians have actually uh, the ideal is about 150 to about 300 and it says that uh, Water between 300 and 600 is also good according to them and between 600 to even 900 is fair and above uh, 1200 is bad. Uh, to give you an understanding of this, as I've told you, I've had TDS meter. So I have been testing uh, the TDS level of waters that we get uh, frequently and I would say Yes, the TDS uh, uh, water level around 200 is excellent. It tastes very good and even about 300 it is good. But I've noticed once it goes above 350 or something, yes, the taste of the water goes a little bit weird. But according to WHO, even uh, uh, levels about 300 to 600 is good. But according to the Indian, uh, uh, what do you say, the Bureau of Indian Standards, that is the BIS, they prescribe uh, TDS of 500 mg as acceptable. So that is where we are seeing this. Uh, if the TDS of the water is uh, less than 500, a uh, RO system should not be sold. Because what the RO system is doing is uh, filtering out the water too much, uh, removing the TDS so much that it's going as low as about 2025. 20, that is the big problem. And uh, again, a very low, uh, as you can see from this, uh, there's a report. I leave all the links, guys, in the description below. I just can't go over everything, but otherwise this will be a 25 minute video. But uh, as you can see, again, WHO says, RO water is uh, long term, 
unhealthy and again i want to point out to this uh, article uh, snippet that i have taken a world health organization has issued uh, ro what a warning and uh, this is hilarious they say that just about everyone knows that ro uh, systems are excellent at removing water impurities but few are aware that they also remove the beneficial minerals in fact reverse osmosis uh, removes 92 to 95 percent of the beneficial uh, calcium and magnesium uh, uh, that is required and uh, as you can see you can read after analyzing hundreds of reports they say the uh, uh, drinking this water has a definite adverse influence on animals and human organisms again uh, i'll uh, leave the link of this one here guys so to just sum it up continuously uh, drinking this ro water for a long long time is actually not good because it is dividing us of the essential minerals that we need in water uh, it's not uh, we as humans are not designed to drink uh, what do you say distilled water or something it is actually bad and to give you an idea uh, i would suggest guys uh, i took this screenshot from deccan herald uh, a newspaper i'll leave the link of this one i felt after reading and tons and tons of stuff this is one uh, where it gave a lot of information uh, as you can see this uh, screenshot i took from there gives a lot of information again even from the indian context about ro and what is happening uh, i'll just summarize this but i'll leave the link uh, read this one i would say it says ro fills uh, ro filters just not kill bacteria but removes all salts and essential neutrals such as calcium and magnesium experts have been warning about the rapid use of ro filters lately nevertheless the government goes on installing ro plants in every nook and corner talking about pure drinking water here it's exactly opposite now i think so i think so the government has realized and they are tr trying to ban it uh, here it says depart uh, mr Sh uh, Shanshekar from uh, uh, Department of Mines and Geology, RO plants are good for highly contaminated groundwater with nitrate and fluoride uh, from other sources. Though RO filtered water can be harmful as it re uh, removes essential nutrients. So sum it up guys. Yes, the RO water is removing and uh, making those tedious levels so low that it is actually removing the essential minerals that we need uh, while drinking water. Uh, so that is the big uh, pro problem with this. And continuously, if you keep drinking RO water, you can have adverse um, uh, health effects. For example, in fact, this is a PDF that I found the health risk from drinking demineralized water that is essentially uh, RO water that is removing all the minerals. It's a big PDF guys. I'll leave the link of this one also in the description below. Read it. It is bad for your health in the long term. And uh, people are just not realizing that. They are thinking like it's good. Again, I found one more uh, uh, article here is a screenshot reverse osmosis long-term use is healthy or not i would suggest you read this one i'm just not going over all the points because the video will become very big but i'll, I'll leave all the links and uh, again to summarize uh, uh, what do you say For, again the tds levels it comes down to the tds levels because that is how you measure uh, what it is it says the other problem that comes with usage of ro technology is demineralization of water considering the fact that some scientific studies undertaken in other parts of the world warn about the adverse health effects of demineralized water it will be pragmatic not to allow the use of low tds water treated through ro which leads to loss of pressure machine like and the report states and adds that ro manufacturers should ensure 150 mg tds in treated water so they say that yeah if you are having a ro uh, system or whatever the tds level should uh, should come to about minimum of about 150 uh, but the problem is uh, guys uh, we have uh, our cousins have a uh, what do you say ro system and uh, there after they implemented the water tds level has fallen down to about 24 let me actually talk about it i went there and i shot it so here is a clip so guys this is the uh, so this is the kent ro uh, water purifier as you can see it even has a display on this model and uh, as you can see right now the ro pump uh, over here uh, is uh, working as it says and uh, the thing is with the ro if you notice over here uh, it always actually throws away water also uh, this is typical for ro this is the waste water that we say and typically at least for this model this is their higher end model i would say for one liter of purified water that collects in this one it throws almost about four liters of water out there so that is inherently what it is uh, but the thing is that um, 
the TDS, uh, when I checked on this one, the water is very low. It's just about 24. And if you come over here, uh, it says that this model has TDS control. So I had called up the Kent, what do you say, service guys. They had come and I told them to set the TDS to about at least 125 or something, if not 150. And they simply said that they cannot do that. So though it says that you can control the TDS or something like that, but that is not possible. And I, I like that uh, if you come over here, it gives a warning that it has no minerals in water, call customer care. But when I called them, uh, I said, uh, I tested with the meter, it is very low. Uh, they just, the technician said nothing can be done. So that's the problem. If they could have a meter over here, something, a switch to shut off RO or like adjust it outside easily, uh, and consumer can see because it is a LCD after all it would have been great but yeah so guys that was the RO uh, system that, that was installed in my cousin's place and still the TDS levels that we are getting a very very low around 23 or 24 from that RO system and uh, to test uh, what is the what do you say TDS levels that I am getting here let's test it out so let's test the TDS and we have two water sources over here this is not the municipal water this is just in our society so mix of boring or whatever I don't recall so let's test it and this is the TDS meter very simple you just switch it on and the value is zero right now then you just dip it in and you'll get a reading so as you can see it gets a reading of 351 so this is not the municipal water so I'm just going to take this out and uh, let's this is the municipal garment water that we are getting let's see the TDS of this one now And as you can see, a reading of about 179. Generally in Hyderabad, it is actually pretty good. Uh, it falls between 160 and 210. So as you can see, a perfect water. No need of having any, what do you say, uh, RO system for this kind of uh, water. I just want to make it clear that I'm not against RO technologies because you need RO purifiers in certain situations. But again, if you're living in a big town where you have municipal power, uh, water supply, you really don't need RO. Get that TDS meter that I showed you earlier and check uh, is uh, what is the uh, TDS in your water. And if it's uh, acceptable levels, there is no need to uh, have an RO because it can cause problems if you're just drinking that RO water because it uh, falls down the TDS level to as low as 25, which is actually harmful. WHO says water sh uh, drinking water shouldn't fall below uh, 50 and ideally uh, it should be around 150 at least. Uh, but uh, I would say these uh, you might need RO because certain uh, times, at least in India also, in summers we don't get that water supply properly. There are many people actually use boring water or tankers and stuff. And then yes, the water quality might not be good. And that is the reason when I asked some of my cousins, why did they get for an RO unit? That was their reason. So I would suggest to these manufacturers when they claim this TDS control or whatever, they should actually have a manual switch over here where you can switch off the RO and just use the regular purifier. And when they need the RO, just switch it and the RO switches on. And also, uh, they should have a knob over here where you can actually, they, for example, this Kent model says TDS control, but we don't have a knob or whatever to control how much TDS you want. All these, uh, uh, what do you say, big RO ones have LCD display and stuff. So they can display what is the inlet, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, TDS value you are getting and what is the output value you are getting. I hope manufacturers pay attention to this because this is a grave problem because many people in urban areas are installing RO units not realizing what harm uh, the RO water drinking continuously uh, is happening. And uh, if you're getting municipal water, uh, essentially you don't need an RO. Anyways guys, I hope uh, you found this uh, video helpful. I generally do not say to share my videos, but I would like you to share these videos to your friends and relatives because this is a big mess that is happening and I see a lot of educated people also buying RO units because there is general mentality in India. The more expensive the product is, it's better. But that is completely wrong. And yes, the RO units are way more expensive uh, compared to regular water purifiers. Anyways, guys i hope you found this video helpful uh, that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys